Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Allah halal family Welcome to the channel you beautiful people I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful uh, day In today's video guys We'll be reacting to Turkey's laser uh, weapon This video was suggested by Odang uh, SM Tashakur Terimak I say thank you very much Shukran uh, Merci for your kind uh, suggestion The video is by E-Military And the link is in the description uh, In case you guys wanted to check it out So guys I've changed the lighting a little bit Hopefully this is a little bit uh, better Based on you guys' uh, suggestion That the previous videos were a little bit too bright Right. So do let me know what you think. Uh, and yeah, without uh, further ado, let's get started with this video. Ooh. Whoa. Ballistic missiles, I think. I have to use the laser. Oh, what? Medexan Defense Industries, a Turkish defense corporation, has unveiled its latest military technology, the Nazar, and new ground-based laser weapon system. Interesting. Crazy, eh? You don't even need to shoot rockets at it anymore. Just shoot it with laser and the rocket blows up bomb. It's the Turkish, Turkish Navy. Defense industry continues to develop new products for security forces in line with demands coming directly from the field. In the wow. industry's latest innovation, Turkish defense firm Medexan have revealed their latest piece of military technology, a new ground-based laser weapon system mm. named Nazar. Nazar. Evil Eye in English. That's what we call Tuzman, Nazar. Which is the same thing, kind of means uh, evil eye. According to Turkish media, Medexan's Nazar will be used to protect surface. Wow, that's huge. Coming optically guided threats with the first they ship, put a ship too, in by 2023. The system offers state-of-the-art laser soft kill against guided missiles. Soft kill countermeasures work to detect guided missiles and interfere ah, with them before they have the chance to reach their targets. The Nazar's broadband capability also allows it to wow. perform reconnaissance and surveillance as needed. The Nazar or Evil Eye is also equipped with its own generator, allowing it to be portable cool. and easily taken to any location. After the completion of the land system, the Nazar will be adapted to strengthen the anti-ship missile Navy. defense of Turkey's military ships. Turkey is getting pretty advanced with their weaponry. The Turkish drones are, I think, one of the best ones uh, nowadays. The Medexan Defense Industry develops technology across radar systems, perimeter surveillance systems, communication systems, laser and electro-optic systems, platform simulators, and underwater acoustic systems, Primarily for the Turkish Armed Forces. Wow. That's cool. Turkey makes, I think, a, most of uh, their weaponry nowadays all in home, like in house, basically, in, in, in Turkey. Turkey's military, including its ships, wow. helicopters, and air defense missile systems. The firm develops radars for their military vehicles and aircraft as well. Oh. Turkey develops laser mm. weapon system after a series of U.S. sanctions. After purchasing the S-400 missile system from Russia in 2019, the country, which is a member of NATO, was sanctioned by the U.S. toward the end of 2020. They have to use the weaponry they need, you know, for defensive purposes. And because you get sanctioned, you have to be able to build your own weaponry or, you know, both for offense and defense. In March 2021, after Joe Biden had been inaugurated as president and Antony Blinken became the Secretary of State, Blinken urged Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Çavuşoğlu to abandon the S-400 missile defense system, but Çavuşoğlu rebuffed him saying that the system was a done deal. Oh. 
I think the four, uh, S400 is one of the most uh, advanced uh, defensive weapons. And I think Russia already has uh, developed the S500. They recently had uh, uh, some uh, testing and they're ready to deploy throughout their country. The U.S. State Department then imposed further sanctions against the Turkish Presidency of Defense Industries, the government agency that had helped to acquire and manage the missile system in April of 2021. Sorry guys, I woke up uh, early today and actually However, nowadays all those for sanctions, work and I also study at night time and at this time of the day I get super tired. So I need some forced. coffee to wake up. <laughs> That's another one, smaller version. Wow. That's basically the idea. The laser warms up the weapon and then because there's explosives inside, it just blows up. Another Turkish defense company also developing this kind of weapon. Since 2010, various Turkish companies or organizations like Tubatak Sage, Rakhazan, and Aselsan had been working on this new technology. Rocket sign. In 2019, Turkish defense contractor Rakhazan unveiled its first locally developed directed energy weapon, Alka, that can destroy or disable hostile drones. According to Rakhazan official professor Ugur Kayazel, Alka is equipped with both wow. laser and electromagnetic systems to either destroy or disable drones and other similar aircraft. Kayazel said the system can accurately track multiple targets nice. with its onboard radar. So it's frequency and jamming to disable it, but they also have laser to destroy it. Depends what you want to do, right? Maybe you want to just disable it and you use it them again. You don't want to damage it. Or if you want, you just damage it and burn it. <laughs> like that. It just falls to the ground. Super cool. Because nowadays with the advancements of drones, there's a lot of drones out there, right? So you have Alka to be able to defend against them too. Great accuracy and had already been deployed to protect a Rakhazan facility. Wow. Rakhazan is also working for the integration of the nice. system technologies into different platforms. It is aimed to develop systems mm. with a higher power to serve as part of a layered air so defense cool. system in the future. And that's the difference between Turkey and uh, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia purchases all its equipment as well as the training and, and even the, the management of their equipment where in Turkey, they built their own. And there's a big difference with that because you don't have reliance um, on outside, right? You, you, you are a specialist at what you do, you know what you're doing and you build your own. Chinese make equipment. Wing Long too, an armed drone that's China's equivalent of the US MQ-9 wow. Reaper. According to Belgium-based wow. site Army Recognition, the incident occurred during the Libyan Civil War, when Turkish supported Libyan government forces used the laser to shoot down a Chinese-made drone supplied by the United Arab Emirates to the Libyan wow. National <laughs> Army, a rebel force commanded by Khalifa Haftar. They shot the drone with a laser. Nice. Turkish companies are relatively new in this specialized field, but their work so far has for been sure. spectacular. For sure, I agree. And kudos to uh, Turkey, you know, for uh, continuing to advance their uh, technology, right? Because they're using it for uh, defensive purposes, right? Um, and uh, helping other nations, like for example, with, with Libya, they're just uh, these warlords coming and trying to fight and take over the country. So they had to go in there. And similarly in, in Syria, what happened, right? Um, they had taken a defensive uh, approach to also help uh, the people go back to their uh, country. So. Uh, they have to stay uh, ahead with technology and with the time and develop these uh, equipment to be able to protect uh, themselves as well as their uh, civilians. So, uh, like I said, kudos to them. Uh, hopefully, inshallah, more uh, technological advances uh, comes out of uh, Turkey. It's nice to see uh, these things uh, coming out because it shows their development as well as uh, how ahead of their time uh, they are. So, really, really cool. Thank you very much, Odang SM, for your uh, suggestion. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. If you did, then please don't forget 
forget to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel as always tashakur terima kasih thank you very much shukran mercy for your kind um support guys i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family and inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care and wassalam